here we are with Gleipni episode 7. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. This part again. I know nothing. <clears throat> oh. Okay, it was a teacher that committed suicide. <laughs> Apparently It would have been so funny if she was like, okay, now tell me about my sister. And she's like, yeah, I don't know nothing. I just want to, to get you to make the pact. <laughs> and this episode will be crazy, I guess. Because I guess Chuichi will encounter Elena. <laughs> But I mean, he should be able to smell her too, right? <clears throat> so, obviously he goes for the wallet, but he should be able to smell that there are others, and he should smell that there is Elena, right? Because he already smelled her. <clears throat> My lucky day. So if Subaru is going away, and he has a wallet, then we might not encounter Elena. Yeah. Killed who? I mean, you didn't kill her. I mean, somewhat. <clears throat> but it was basically clear.
I guess we have Subaru here. How did he not smell it before it came? Stop sweating inside me. <laughs> One of us, one of us. And I don't care. And that's why I'm going. And someone else? <laughs> he can fight. So I thought the hands, the shadow hands, would grab him, but they didn't. I guess it was just the scent he smelled then that came to him. Oh. Didn't smell him coming.
Everything pisses him off. Uber. Why does he have to be naked for that? Ugh. Well, I mean, he didn't really resist it, right? He just let him grab him. Nope. What is with the big one? The big one can fight? I thought the big one was a fighting one and this one. Yeah, can Sanabe, I think was his name, can he come around and help? <laughs> Clowns. He's more than my boyfriend. What the fuck? What is going on? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Beat him up. 
Come on. For real. <laughs> Is this why he's so shitty, this character? Because he thinks, oh, I'm rare, I'm cool. Seems rather durable <laughs> right now. I wonder if he can do this with Claire too. <clears throat> or if this is maybe just happening because she is also transformed. Reminds me a bit of Anima. Anima? Anima? From Final Fantasy X. Ah, that's what I like to see. But someone comes and stops. Elena? She has two guns now. Hmm. Elena seems pretty strong. Give the wallet back. You good Brad. Can she tell that it's Suichi? He has the strength? I guess she knows that it's Chuichi.
Oh, did she transform him basically, and then she became a monster herself? Maybe. <clears> hmm. <throat> Lie. Ha <laughs> little shit. Another one. And they are fine. They transform back. So he can recover? I mean, obviously. Otherwise, they would have to carry him all the way back to the machine and use another coin. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, interesting, I would say. Because it seems like he has some hidden ability that he can apparently recover, like I just said at the end. Because obviously, otherwise, they would have to carry him to the vending machine, use another coin, give him another drink to heal. Um, and he can, like, fuse with the, pe with the person that's inside him? Fueled by rage or something? I mean, maybe rage is just right now the trigger, but maybe at some point he can control it and then use it whenever he wants to. But again, makes me wonder why? Is it just maybe, could he do this with Claire or can he do it with just monsters that maybe are inside him so that he can fuse with another monster and then become a new monster, basically? Um... <clears throat> If he could do it with Claire, that would be interesting. I mean, I guess we will, we will find out, right? Um, but, yeah. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to, like, the little boy, I, Subaru, I don't like him. He's a little brat, right? His monster, what he can summon, reminds me a bit of Anima from, I don't know, how do you pronounce it in English? In German, you just say Anima. Um, I don't know if it's Anima or Anima. Um from Final Fantasy X. Not quite the same, right? But uh, it's has... It looks a bit similar, right? Having a chain, being like coming out of the ground, kind of not... It's not coming out of the ground, but I mean, it's just on the ground. It's, it's just like a torso, basically, with arms and a chain, and then there's another torso, head thingy. Instead of like being upside down inside the ground or whatever, it's like right next to each other um and yeah so that's interesting i would say this whole thing how that and it seems like when they when suichi fuses with the person inside him <clears throat> however that works um it seems like they share all the memories like it's really intertwined and they don't even know what is theirs what is the other one's memory, right? So that's very interesting. Like what what was going on before that they could feel like emotions and all that stuff. Now it's like really like as if they would be one. And yeah, the alien remembered uh, Elena again. And <clears throat> so it seems like something is going on with Elena. What I, my, my thought is maybe maybe she wanted to meet the costume right and <clears throat> it seems like they she had contact with chuichi and maybe they were friends or something i don't think they were like friends in terms of relationship right but like maybe good friends uh from what it seems like from the flashbacks we saw 
and then maybe she gave him the drink. But he said he never had the drink, so that's a bit confusing. Maybe that's just in her imag imagination. I don't know. But it, so my guess is maybe she maybe she got the drink and transformed Ch Chuichi, and then maybe she wasn't happy with it, or maybe not. Maybe not not happy, but like maybe she regretted it that that she did that, and now she got a drink herself so that she can become a monster. And her goal is maybe to get the coins to turn him back. Because it seems like she likes Chuichi, but is sorry that she is at fault for turning him into the monster. And now she seems like she has a clear goal that she wants to achieve. So maybe it's getting, turning Chuichi back to a normal person again, would be my guess. Because otherwise... I'm just conflicted what her goal could be and why she showed why she is so determined and why she has these feelings if it's not connected. Um, because then her whole like fe like how she reacts to Chuichi seems kind of weird if she likes him, but her goal right now is not connected to him. Because if she would like him, then I would imagine that she would be m more around with him and. Wanted to talk with him and being near him, right? Um, but since she wants to keep distance from what it seems like, I would guess that she wants to distance herself from him because she feels bad about it, it that she turned him into the monster. I'm repeating myself again. And that her goal is to turn him back. And that's why she says she can't die until that's done, basically. Um, that's my guess, personally. If that's the case, I don't know, obviously. But yeah. Like I said, otherwise I feel like the whole dynamic between her and like how she acts around Suichi right now kind of weird when, when she was before like really wanted to him to transform and wanting to be close to him or like inside him and then now she keeps her distance the whole time. Mm. But yeah, that's basically the episode. Interesting episode with the whole transformation stuff with Suichi. So yeah, there's more potential than just a costume, I guess, which seems interesting. I, I really want to see if he can trans do that with Claire inside. That would be interesting. I would like to know how that looks like. I mean, I, I would guess it looks like Claire, just like a bit different, right? Could be interesting. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.